Hey guys, Max here with Bushcraft American, and I've got the brand new AEA Challenger in 30 cal. As you can see, I've got the Donnie FL Ronin on here. And what I want to do is show you the sound difference of what it sounds like with it on and what it sounds like it without the suppressor on. Alright, so here's what it sounds like with the suppressor on. Here's what it sounds like without the suppressor. I say that's a significant difference. Thanks to the guys at the pellet shop, they sent me this so that I could hunt with it. And man, this is a great gun. It shoulders really really well it is heavy i have to say i have put in some serious miles i have probably i have probably hiked about 20 to 25 miles with this gun and if you have the other stock on here it's really really tiring it tires out your biceps so i would very suggest changing out the butt stock uh, i don't know for most people this gun might be a little bit tough to go hunting with it's very heavy i'm deep in the backcountry now but that's because if i run into any large game i wanted to make sure that i had something that can really allow me to de defend myself i mean i'm in bear and mountain lion country out here so thank you to the pellet shop for sending me the aea challenger and 30 cal what i did for the backcountry is i actually changed the buttstock I realized with the other one, it's just a little bit too heavy. And if you change it out and you put a new buttstock on there, that's a little bit lighter. It makes it much, much easier to shoulder. Right now, I've been shooting the 61.5 NSA grains out of this. And man, this gun is performing well. I've got it dialed into 70 yards just for, you know, if I see some coyotes, if I run into a turkey, I'm out hunting turkeys right now, but I haven't been hearing anything. Uh, I actually camped here on public land, so i um, a little bit bummed that I haven't heard any turkeys. Might have to go to a different spot, but at least I've got this campsite ready to go for uh, deer season. The Challenger has a regulator. I believe it's regulated to around 1700 psi this one looks like it's around maybe right in the middle there what is that mine's probably around like 1800 psi it's holding air pretty well i found that i think i get about four magazines with solid shots until i get down to 150 bar i've been filling mine up to 250 bar and it's been performing well you can pump it up to 450 psi if you want but I use a hand pump, so I really haven't felt the need to pump it up more just because I'm pretty much using this for hunting. As I said, I've got the 61.5 grains in here. I've got the Element Helix on here with the sunshade. If you haven't noticed, I also wrapped my air gun simply because uh, with that other, with how this gun comes stock, I mean, I don't know how you're going to hunt with that for me i needed to camo this out so i just got a gun wrap so that i could legitimately hunt with this and i think this makes it look much better compared to the other way um that other way it, that'd be tough to hunt with especially if you're hunting turkeys let's see what else about here as i said i've got the donny fl ronin on the front i've got the element helix on here thank you element for sending that to me I know with my 61.5, I've been seeing other reviews. Uh, if you notice, I turned my power down just a little bit. And with the 61.5 at 70 yards, 
this is giving me some really good accuracy. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I'll talk more about it later. I'm gonna hike out of here because I haven't heard anything. End my day early. But the AA Challenger, thank you, the Pellet Shop. Thank you, Donnie FL. Thank you, Element Optics. Uh, what can I say? This is a really good hunting gun. Also, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to start doing more air gun reviews. It's now hunting season. It's turkey season right now. We're getting ready. Then we're going to be getting ready for deer and bear season. So I'm going to be filming more, taking you along, doing more reviews on air guns. So tune in. Thanks for following.